Hey, what's up, WWE Games fans, and welcome back to Inside the Ring. I'm here with senior designer David Freeland of the WWE All-Stars team. How you doing, Dave? Hey, I'm doing just great. Awesome. So what are we checking out today? What we're going to do is we're going to look over a couple matches here in WWE All-Stars featuring the different classes we have in the game. We have four classes in the game, brawlers, grapplers, acrobats, and big men. And what we're going to do is we're going to pit uh, two of each class against each other and show off not only the class, but the differences between individuals in that class. Awesome. So we're checking out the acrobat class today, right? Absolutely. We're going to start off strong and show the acrobats here. So here we have, first and foremost, uh, a modern WWE superstar, John Morrison. Elimination Chamber superstar, right? Absolutely. And a <laughs> Royal Rumble superstar. I think he may have provided the greatest single Royal Rumble moment I have seen in my life. Well, you're a hardcore fan, but, you know, John Morrison may be a star, but... Shawn Michaels, HBK is certainly a legend. Absolutely, and this is a, a veteran performer, as you can see from what he's wearing. Very self-assured and self-confident. Uh, <laughs> you have to be to walk out like that. I love HBK. I really miss him. It's good to see him getting inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. It is, it is. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see him make an appearance at uh, WrestleMania. I have a, a couple thoughts on what's going to happen there with uh, Undertaker and H uh, uh, Triple H. Do you? Do you? You think a little surprise... A little sweet chin music is going to come out? I wouldn't be surprised to see him as the special guest referee, actually. <laughs> but we'll see. So uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, the acrobat class. Give us kind of like a general high level. Who is the acrobat class? The acrobat in WWE All-Stars is someone who's always on the move. This is a performer who is always going to be making use of their energy to run, to jump. They're going to use the environment. They focus on rope springs, as we see here. There's uh, Morrison doing his flying chuck into a monkey flip. Uh, they go off the turnbuckles. Uh, there's a nice uh, little Hurricane Rana there. Um, these are characters, they may not have the grapple chains or the strike chains of a brawler or, or grappler. They may not have the endurance of a big man, but they can fly through the air like nobody's business. That's awesome. And I'm seeing like a lot of a lot of cool animation blends, especially with the acrobat guys, you know, how they go from one move to the next. Absolutely, and really you're going to see that with any class in this game. Our animation system for this game is something completely new. Um, I would go on record and dare say this may be the most fluid combat animations you will see in any fighting game. Well, certainly these guys are all over the top. I mean, Morrison's just flying. What do you call some of these moves? Oh, there's a couple things here. Now, mind you, these are all based on real moves. Like right here, we've got uh, Morrison's Moonlight Drive. <laughs> some of you old fans may remember that as his finisher prior to Starship Pain. And I'm sure he jumped 20 feet in the air, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, one thing you'll notice about WWE All-Stars is we're not trapped in a single moment in WWE history. We're looking at these people's entire careers. If there's something cool they did 20 years ago and we like it, we put it in the game. I think the, you know, one of the coolest things about All-Stars is it's it's not about simulation. It is about authenticity, but it's about just outright, outlandish, over-the-top fun. And I think the Acrobat class, more than anything, really just stresses that to the max. Oh, absolutely. This is a fun class. I won't say it's the easiest class to start with. There's definitely... Uh, a few extra mechanics for the acrobat you have to learn how to leap off someone's chest up to the ropes how to rope spring um, how to spring back into the ring from the outside they've got a couple things they can do that no one else can do but once you've got it down uh, yeah they're a fantastic class to play and a lot of fun so what do you think are you know what, what, what's some of the advantages of the acrobat class in terms of if i'm going up against a brawler or a big man what are what are some of the, the advantages that i have I think the biggest advantage you have is not having to get directly in their face to hurt them. Um, <laughs> the last thing you want to be doing is just standing there when a grappler or a brawler is doing their close range chains on you. Absolutely. Um, as an acrobat, what you're trying to do is you're trying to actually get some distance and keep on the move. Uh, right there you'll see uh, H uh, HBK going up to the ropes. You'll notice these guys will actually climb the turnbuckle in a single hop. Uh, acrobats get up to turnbuckles faster than any other class. So what you want to do is, you know, get in, get out. Quick strikes, do your damage, then get on the move again before the uh, opponent can get up and uh, fight back and execute some of their chains or extreme moves. So who's, uh, who, who's winning this match? Let's talk a little bit about the UI here and what we're seeing. Okay, what we're seeing here is we have a, a four-stage health bar here. That's another thing we're, we're doing here, which is maybe more of a fighting game mechanic, is an actual health bar in this game. Um, you'll see that go from green to yellow to orange to red and then to empty. Uh, one of the reasons we made this multi-layer one is, A, it's a, a good visual indicator of progress, and B, you know, if we did it all in a 
one bar, then every hit would only do a few pixels of damage, and that would kind of look boring. So uh, looks like HBK is he's got three stars. There. That means he's ready for his uh, his big super finisher. Absolutely, I think actually Owen has two right now. But that star system right there is something you build up by doing moves. Oh, here we go. That is one of another classic move for HBK. That was a teardrop suplex. Some that of you uh, insane. old fans might remember that one. And I'm not just saying that because I'm the community manager of this game. I'm saying that was literally insane. Exactly. <laughs> You'll see that that drain one star away. So you can build up to three of these at a time. You do that by doing moves, but a variety counts here. Uh, the more you repeat the same move over and over, the less energy you'll get for each successive one. So you kind of want to mix it up. So I think we're seeing uh, the uh, the wrestler's body is glowing different colors, you know, from a blue or kind of like a, a nice gray there. Can you explain a little bit about that? Absolutely. The... Um, with the speed of this game and the amount of stuff going on on screen, these colors really help out. You'll see uh, Morrison there was flashing gray. That means he's temporarily in a stun state, so you can get off a ground hit. Normally in this game, people don't stay on the ground as long as they will in the actual WWE. That's once again uh, a convention uh, that we put in for you know fighting games. Uh, we want to keep the action moving, but uh, when you do stun them, you'll know about it. Uh, you'll also see uh, blue lines indicating that someone's attempting a, an extreme move. You'll see red lines indicating the victim of one. Here we are going to see one again. Morrison loves that move. Um, a little bit later, one of these guys might charge up. There we go. Those yellow lines are indicating a finisher is on the way. Uh -oh. Here comes uh -oh. Starship Pain. And... Oh, oh, he reversed it. That, that, yes, that was reversed. And let me tell you, that is not easy to do. Um, I should point out, every grapple in this game is reversible. Every reversal is reversible, uh, but the windows vary. The fans are going to love that finishers are reversible. Yeah, they're going to love it, but they're not going to pull it off easy. No, that looked like an insanely hard move to put. I'm saying insane quite a bit here, but exactly. And that, one, that one might be, even be a little easier than some because you have so much warning. Um, you know, if you're trying to reverse uh, Edge's spear, uh, good luck to you. It is possible. It's just not easy. You're, you're pretty pro if you can do that. We've got two pretty qualified guys there we playing go. this that's match. A, that's here. another this jump match. off the chest there. This match has been going on for about five, six minutes here. What's kind of the average match length? I'd say five to six is just about right. You'll notice both health bars are flashing red now. Um, oh, there we go. A little uh, capoeira action by uh, John Morrison there. <laughs> I wish uh, I could do that. We've got him pinned down. HBK is down. Starship yeah, painting. I think we're going to see a knockout here. Oh. Boom. Knockout. Well, it looks like uh, we got our winner, Morrison. Indeed. So, Dave, thanks match. for being here. Absolutely. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, check out the Acrobats. Uh, they are a heck of a fun class to play. And that's right, folks. And you can get more about WB All-Stars at our official website, WBAllStars.com. Or follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash WBAllStars. And, of course, Twitter, Twitter.com slash WBGames. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.